One of the ways you can make your webinar more engaging is including a slide presentation. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through how to build your webinar slides using some of my favorite tools, and I'll show you how to easily import your slides into OBS or Zoom. Let's get into it. Hello creators, I'm Ben Tolson from Podia, where we empower creators like you to make a living doing what you love. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to build and use slides in Zoom and OBS. Zoom because we've recently added Zoom integration to our webinar feature, and OBS because it's a free streaming app you can use to host your webinar and share slides while streaming to YouTube Live, which our webinar feature also supports. Before I show you how to present your slides, I'm going to walk you through how to build your slides using two of my favorite free web-based tools, Google Slides and Canva. If you have an account with Google, slides can be accessed from your Google Drive account. Click the New button, click the arrow next to Google Slides and select from a template. This will load a selection of pre-made templates that you can choose from for your presentation. Feel free to click through as many as you need to find the one that would best fit your content. You can edit elements in the slides by clicking them directly and right-clicking an object will show you additional editing and formatting options. In the toolbar to the right of the pointer tool, you can add text, insert images, add shapes, lines, make comments, change the background color or image, change the layout of the current slide, change the overall theme of the presentation, or build transitions between slides and object animations. In the slide gallery to the left, if there are slides you don't need, simply select them and hit delete. You can also duplicate an existing slide by right-clicking the slide and selecting Duplicate Slide. Once you finish creating your slides, if you plan to host your webinar through Zoom, you can present directly from your Google Slides document, and I'll show you how to do that in a few minutes. If you plan to host your webinar through OBS, it's time to export your presentation to images. Google Slides doesn't have a built-in function that allows you to export multiple slide images at once, but you can go through and export one at a time by selecting a slide, going to File, Download, and selecting JPEG or PNG. To export multiple images, you'll need an add-on. Go to Add-ons and select Get Add-ons. Now do a search for Slides Toolbox and install the add-on. Once it's installed, go to Add-ons, Slides Toolbox, and select Open. Now select all of your slides by clicking on the first one and then typing Command or Control A. With all of your slides selected, go to the Slides Toolbox panel and click on Export Tools. Under Export Slides, select JPEG or PNG. This will create a zip file. Name the file and choose where you want to download and continue. Once it's finished downloading, you can unzip the file and it will create a folder where you'll be able to see all of your slide images. Now let's move on to Canva. You'll first need to sign in or sign up if you haven't already at canva.com. Canva does have some premium options available in its paid plan, but a free account will give you everything you need. Once you've logged in, click templates on the left and then choose presentation. As you browse the templates, you can preview them to see what other layouts are available within that template. Find and select the one that matches the presentation style you're going for. Each element of the design is editable, with different options for each type of object appearing in the toolbar at the top of the design area. To the upper right of each slide, you can add presenter notes, move a slide up or down, duplicate, delete, or add a slide. On the left, you'll see different layouts. If you click on one, it'll automatically replace the content and layout of the current slide. And to the left of that section, you can browse and add photos, elements like shapes and illustrations, text, music, videos, backgrounds, or you can upload your own files. Canva allows you to present right from your browser, so if you plan to host your webinar with Zoom, you're all set once you've finished making your slides. If you plan to use OBS, click the download button in the upper right, select JPEG, and make sure all pages is selected under Select Pages. Now click Download. Canva will also create a zip file. Name that file and choose where you want to download and continue. Once it's finished downloading, you can unzip the file and it will create a folder where you'll be able to see all of your slide images. Now that we've finished creating our presentation, it's time to integrate them into our webinar. Today, I'll just be going over the slides feature, but check out this video for a more in-depth look at running a Zoom webinar and watch this video to learn how to use OBS with YouTube. First, we'll start with Zoom. Open your Zoom app and under Meetings, select your webinar. Before you start your webinar, open your presentation in your browser, either in Canva or Google Slides. And in the upper right of your screen, click 
Present. Command or Alt-Tab to get back to Zoom and click the Start button. Once you've started your Zoom webinar and you're ready to present, click the Share Screen button at the bottom and find and select the window with your presentation and click Share. You'll automatically be taken to your full screen presentation where you can navigate through your slides. Pretty simple. Now let's set this up with OBS. Open your OBS app and under Scenes, click the plus button to create a new scene titled Slides. In the Sources section, click the plus button and click Audio Input Capture and either create a new audio source or add an existing one you've already created and then click OK. This is an important step because you probably want your attendees to be able to hear you as you're going through your slides. Now in the Sources section, click the plus button again and select Image Slideshow. Name your slideshow and select OK. Under Visibility Behavior, choose Pause when not visible, Unpause when visible. Under Slide Mode, select Manual. Now scroll down to the section that says Image Files. Click the plus button and choose Add Files. Navigate to the folder with your slide images and select all of them. The files will arrange themselves in the order they appear in your browser, so make sure they're in the correct order before importing. Now you should be able to see your presentation in the monitor screen. One last thing you'll need to do is click Settings on the right. Click Hotkeys and scroll down to the section that says Image Slideshow. Designate Next Slide as Right Arrow and Previous Slide as Left Arrow. Then click OK. This way you can use the right and left arrows to navigate through your presentation. Now you should be able to easily create slides with one of these free web-based tools and present your slides with Zoom or OBS. If there's another webinar platform you prefer that you'd like me to make a video about, let me know in the comments. If you found this video helpful and you want more content like this, click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll be sure not to miss any future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.